FNN. The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here on this uh, Monday, the 8th of April. We're looking at the Dow at this 10 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network market update. Um, up 18, at actually at 38,923. It ran all the way to 39,013. I said to subscribers to my opening call, it's expect that the 38,980 um, 38, to the 39,000. 20 area could be a resistance. We'll see if that's the case here. Interesting enough, the S&P <clears throat> was lagging the Dow. Did I type it in the wrong place? I did. Okay, sorry. Here goes the S&P, which is up a dollar thirty-four. Here we go. So it's up dollar thirty-four. The nine period moving average is still nicely above the fourteen. Hasn't turned down yet. The Dow has. Um, and it's at 52.06. It's right in the Chapman Wave inside track propellant zone, which is now really a resistance zone. Looking at the QQQ, which did turn negative in the nine period moving average going below the 14, but very narrow. Um, it's bounced off the inside track propellant zone. It's up 36 cents at 440.85. We're really going to be watching the semiconductors. Semiconductors are up 88 cents at 223.52. Holding that 9 and 14 period moving average, looking at the IWM, the Russell 2000. Fascinating overnight into this morning, the Russell 2000 uh, futures, that's the RTY, went negative in the 9 period moving average and then it went positive. Now it's back to negative. Oh, I'm just waiting one at a time for these things to turn down. They haven't yet. Gold, of course, is acting so beautifully. Uh, it's down one today. But it ran, spiked all the way to uh, 2,372.5. I've got this as a leg D. There's a really a good chance that there's a little bit of a digestive phase coming up here. But if you look at the dollar, the dollar trading right now, dollar DXY, uh, is down four ticks at 104.24, holding very nicely in the nines over the 14. Fascinating that they're both holding well. We've got the bonds. Now, this is, oh, I think this is one of the most important aspects that we're looking at. Bonds are down a half a point. They were down much more earlier at 117. I, you know, this is something to monitor because if yields go higher at some point, it's going to have an adverse effect on the market. I'll be back for the Tiger Technician's Hour. Hope you can stay. See you in a few moments. Check out my opening call, and I'll see you in a moment. Hold tight.